uh, it was like I just can't believe I'm seeing this. Every every year of my life, I've experienced that, and I was that was the hardest part for me. It's like hearing those babies literally scream and cry. Notice the slanting angle of the top teeth and how straight they are, which also doesn't match the shape of his teeth when you see it in a, you might say, a real shot or a front shot. And you can see the difference. And in this scrub of the LCD, I show how that tooth actually grows and comes into sight on a frame by frame basis. You can see it comes out and there's no explanation to say that that's his normal teeth just coming into the light. And again, what's this little shiny thing right here for which there's no real explanation what that could be and you'll notice it stays in place and creates other inter interesting shapes which also is exacerbated by the fact that it's you get to the in-between shot which gives you kind of a blurry after image so the shots that don't have the that after image are what you're looking for to see any defining shape but you can see defining shapes from this, as you can clearly see. I mean, let's see you make a filming condition where a tooth comes to, comes into view like that just because of shadow and light. Take the same conditions and film somebody and then film your TV and see if you can repeat that effect. I don't think you can. All right, so here again, we have an interesting shape shift with the hand. And in this case, it looks like his hand kind of turns into this bulb, like these two bulbs. You get like this blurry bulb shape. And I challenge you to get a similar effect yourself and make something that has those lumps. And look at these lumps here. Okay, now watch here in this next scrub. You'll see that the little sharp fingertip transforms frame by frame into the normal looking finger. You see that? How it changes from a little it's like a large nail or a claw changes into the fingertip. Okay, now in this shot, there's some interesting anomalies on Obama's face, and you'll notice that there is a, it looks like a bubbling, shifting hole, and it's kind of hard to see in this shot here because it's moving too quickly. But here in the still shot, you can see there's like a large hole and a small hole. And it's, I realize it's kind of blurry, so it's hard to see what's going on, but you can see it's like a hole, like a crater. And I tried to point it out there with the arrows. And you can see it right there. It's like a, it's like a, this strange hole that forms. And I'm pointing out here where you start to see it form in this frame by frame and you'll notice that it see right there was there there's like two little holes and then it it kind of bubbles frame by frame and you'll see what looks like like a hole 